Welcome to Sketchy. We take all the super complex stuff you need to learn and turn them into memorable visual stories packed full of everything you need to know on test day. Click the link in the corner or description to try for free for seven days. Now let's get to it. Hello, step right up, don't be shy. Welcome to the annual Sestode Carnival, where you can meet all the important Sestodes in one place. Now, if you didn't remember, Sestode is just a fancy word for tapeworm. So get ready to bacon wrap and deep fry some tapeworms as we head to the Sestode County Carnival. The first Sestodes I want to talk about is the Tinea genus, as in Tinea solium and Tinea saginata, which will be illustrated under these tents. Now, eating cysts or larvae of these parasites in undercooked meat will lead to tianiasis, which leads to GI problems. So now what type of meats are generally the culprits? Well, the intermediate for saginata is cattle, which will draw under this tent, and the intermediate for solium is a pig, which will draw under the other tent. So to keep these two straight, let's draw a sun on the pig's tent, as in sol for solium, and additionally we also have a sign that says sold. The cow's tent is sagging a little bit to remind you of saginata. There is another differentiation between these two species that we want you to recognize. We'll represent it by drawing some meat hooks surrounding the pig's tent. Notice there aren't any on the cow's tent. Well, these hooks are supposed to represent the hooks which are present on the proglotted heads of Tinea solium, and they show up on stool O and P. So here's a picture of solium on the left, and you can see these characteristic hooks compared to saginata on the right, which lacks hooks. 